hello friends in today's video let's solve uh, lead code co weekly contest problem which is longest subarray with maximum bitwise end okay so we are given an integer array nums of size n we need to consider a non empty subarray from nums that has a maximum possible bitwise end and we need to find the length of the longest subarray having that uh, bitwise end okay so in simple terms we are given let's say we, this is the array 1 2 3 3 and uh, 2 2 so this is the array and we need to find first we need to find the maximum bitwise end possible of this sub array okay so maximum bitwise end of this uh, array uh, of any sub array of this array is 3 the maximum is 3 only right we cannot get more than that and length of and length maximum length and max length max length of sub array having having this bitwise and having bitwise and as 3 is 2 according to the question right this is which they are saying 3 comma 3 as the resulting answer right now see this question is uh, i would say a bit bit manipulation based question bit ma bit magic now how do we solve this problem using bit magic see initially i also got confused means what we what was asked and how would we solve that and we need to use some sliding window type of kind of problem but if you uh, uh, see it uh, if you see it the, see the question more clearly see let me tell you one very interesting thing see we are given this array 1 2 3 3 2 and 2 now see uh, there is one property of bitwise and okay bitwise and now bit, when i do bitwise and of two numbers a and b then the resultant the resultant will always be resultant will always be less than or equal to the minimum of both of them okay the result would always be less than or equal to the minimum value which is present among the elements right let me take as an example a equal to 3 and b equal to 7 okay so what i am saying let me end it right 3 is 0 1 1 and 7 is 1 uh, 1 1 1 right what is the resultant 0 1 1 which is 3 so i am saying that the result of the bitwise end of any two numbers is always less than or equal to the minimum of both of them right correct so that that is the that is the first deliverable or i would say first this is the first observation which we could make from this problem okay now let's move to the second observation we are given again this array 1 2 3 3 2 and 2 okay so as i said that the maximum bitwise end possible see the maximum bitwise end possible would be equal to the maximum element of the array maximum bitwise end is always is, is will be equal to the maximum element of the array right because i cannot get see the uh, if you if you try to think it first the first observation which i made is the bitwise end of any two numbers is always less than or equal to minimum of a comma b right correct so let's say if i take bitwise end of 2 comma 3 right then what i would get then it would be less than or equal to 2 or 2 right it would not be 3 now see if i take this single element 3 if i take single element 3 then the bitwise end of this uh, since it is a single element it is definitely going to be 3 correct and we need to find the maximum bitwise end correct so now maximum bitwise end would exist only when only when this is the second observation second observation so the first observation is that the maximum bitwise end of the any possible sub array of this is always 3 which is equal always equal to the maximum element okay now second observation is that how would we find the maximum length of the uh, sub array having this bitwise end okay now see again again i am taking the case 1 2 3 3 and 2 and 2 so first observation by first observation we find out we found out that the maximum uh, maximum possible bitwise end of any of the sub errors you you see you can take a pen and paper and you try out all the cases right see if you are not clear about a bitwise end then i would recommend you to uh, take pen and paper and do do bitwise end of all of the sub errors or you can run a loop or a, do a brute force okay you would you, the maximum possible answer would be max would be three always right why because i can take a single three I can take single 3 and the bitwise end of the, uh, definitely it is 3 only right so maximum possible it is the maximum possible bitwise end of any sub array of this array is equal to the maximum element of that array correct now the second observation what I uh, is uh, see all of this all of this all of these observations are based on a fact that the bitwise end of two numbers a and b is always equal less than or equal to minimum of a comma b so this is a very important observation a very important result which we could you could take some examples and 
test it whether it is correct or not whether i am saying correct or not okay now the second option is observation is that we need to find the length of the sub array we need to find the maximum length of sub array length of the sub array having bitwise and having bitwise and as this right bitwise and as the maximum element or this max assume that bit so now how would we do that now as i say see the main observation is that only that the bitwise and of any two numbers is less than or equal to minimum of both them right now see if i can i take three this, i i will take this three as my first and this three as my second now see i am taking this sub array three comma three now the bitwise and is also maximum and the length is two right now let see let me try to induct more elements of it right let me induct let me try to induct the previous prefix two then see now now the very first observation if we go into that then the bitwise and of these two numbers is always less than or equal to is going to be less than or equal to 2 but i am i am i am sure that my maximum bitwise and possible is 3 right maximum possible bitwise and is 3 then if i induct 2 now now if i induct 2 now the what would be the bitwise and of all of all of this array it would be 2 but but i know that the maximum is 3 right then why would i induct 2 there is no require no requirement right to end up to in my sub array correct so my second observation is that second observation is that the maximum consecutive length okay so this is the this was the case right now i know that maximum bitwise and is 3 and now i would what i would do i would find the maximum consecutive length of the element having max right so how many times 3 occurs maximum 2 so that is the answer that is the answer for this problem and any more problems. Let me take more, one more case. See, if, it, if this was the case, right, if this was the case, then the I know that the maximum bitwise and possible is always 3. That is equal to the maximum element. You can deduce it by taking brute force or you can take, take it by uh, taking some of the cases. But the main fact remains the same. The bitwise and of a and b always less than or equal to minimum of both of them, right? So I would why why I would uh, I would if I take the maximum both all of the maximum elements, then I would get the maximum result correct. So now maximum bitwise and of this any of the sub array is three only, right? Now I can see that there is a sub array of three 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 which is of length three and this is of length two. Then I need to make return the maximum length, hence I would return three, correct? So this is this case. So yeah, it is a it is a I would say a bit manipulation type problem. And yeah, if you uh, if you are not still get, see, this is the golden point. This is a golden I would say rule, which helped me to solve this problem. So it is a bit magic problem, and I would recommend you to uh, solve it on your own first by getting. Uh, then I would paste the code in the description. And if you are still not getting it, uh, comment it, comment your doubts. I would definitely solve them. Okay. Thank you for watching, and do not forget to subscribe the channel.